Ifa. Yeah. What is your most romantic experience? He took me to Paris for a week and he took me to the Eiffel Tower and he told me he loved me. Wow, where's this guy now? I broke his heart. Guys, this is what happens when you do nice things for girls. They break your heart and leave you. That's why you have to stick with the traditional roles for women, keep them in the kitchen. Oh, okay. <laughs> keep them in the kitchen. He took me to Paris and there weren't any kitchens in Paris, so... Oh, no kitchen, so you break his up. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hi. Hola. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, you look good in red. Oh, thank you. Damn, why are you sitting over there looking so pretty? Oh, you're so sweet, baby. Yeah, watch out. I'm not talking about you. Damn, all up in my way. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, look at you. You were talking about the Corvette? Oh my god. Yeah, babe, watch out. Hey, excuse me. Right, that's why your shit's you slow. Worry. What? That's why your shit's slow. You heard? Rejected. Yes. Can I come back inside now? Are you done giving me an attitude? That's what I thought. How many a day does a guy deserve? At least three. Okay, what if your man doesn't make you as much every day? Does he still deserve three nuts every day? I am a giver, so I like giving. I like initiating. I like treating my man, especially like if that's my boyfriend or like that's the person I'm with. Like I want to please you, so I don't care. I'll I'll be the one like giving each time. What makes you like giving more than makes you me? I think there's just like a certain power behind it, like especially like giving. Like, no one forgets, like, the best they've ever had. And I want to hold that title with every person. Yes. So. I love oh, shit, let <laughs> Your Instagram. Marriageable man. My boyfriend already. For him, I'm going to delete my Instagram soon, actually. Because I see Instagram oh. as just a dating app. Whoa. Good Based. Answer. Based. Okay. And was that something that you arrived at? on your own or was it yeah, kind of yeah because i mean again if you're a certain level of attraction even for girls even if you're unattractive you're still gonna get guys in your dm it doesn't matter because we can get a guy easier than a guy can get a girl and so for me i just i want to make him feel like he's the only man and that comes with making him feel like he has a certain level of status so i'll gladly delete my instagram i don't <laughs> think i've ever heard a girl say that on this show we've interviewed <laughs> over a hundred people that's why this one's the one who's gonna get married you're goddamn right. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did I hear Daddy tell you last night that, that he was going to beat up the kitty cat? What are you talking about? We don't even have a kitty cat. We have dogs. Joey, stop listening to everything he says. Get in your room now. That's it. Dog. Sorry, I just didn't want the kitty cat to get Joey, in. Joey, go! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a, a certain definite sympathy um, and I don't mean that there's any disrespect but it, it just makes me understand what's going on Nora as Ned also went on about 30 dates with women mostly arranging them on the internet did you have any fun rarely rarely it was, it was just an ordeal unpleasant. yeah she says the pressure of Ned having to prove himself was grueling Nora was surprised that many women had no interest in a soft, vulnerable man. My prejudice was that the, the ideal man is a woman in a man's body. And I learned, no, that's really not. There are a lot of women out there who really want a manly man. Nora thought the perfect end to her 18-month saga was to join a men-only therapy group, a place where guys tried to bond and show their emotions instead of hiding them. They don't get to show the weakness. They don't get to show the affection, especially with each other. And so, so often all of their emotions are shown in rage. A lot of this was blowing off steam. It's sort of talking about the things that need to be said that you know you would never do. I mean, you know, they would talk about fantasizing about chopping up their wives or something. It's not that they would ever do that, but it was a way to get out the blackest thoughts. Nora's 18 months of being an imposter was closing in on her. 
the pressure of being someone that you're not and being the, the fear of discovery and the deceit that it involves piles up and piles up. So by the time I got around to doing this men's group, it was really reaching critical, critical mass. Nora was not harmed physically, but she continued her emotional descent and a week later checked into a hospital with severe depression. But her views about men have changed forever. Men are suffering. They have different problems than women have, but they don't have it better. They need our sympathy, they need our love, and they need each other more than anything else. They You're goddamn right. They need to be together. Do you think women understand what it's like to be a man? Not at all. No clue. Nora Vincent went on a 18-month uh, experiment uh, where she lived as a man and she experienced that uh, on the 30 dates that she went, majority of women don't want a soft, nice guy. She realized that most men bottle up their emotions and they're not emotional. And she realized that most men are depressed. And studies have also shown that one in three men is either a virgin or hasn't had sex in the last year. Most suicides are committed by men. And... Um, Male uh, sperm count is down by 60%. Male testosterone is down by 40% since the 1980s. But we as men, what do we do? We don't cry, we don't fuss about it. What we do is we get in the gym, we work out, we focus on our mental health, we focus on our purpose. And if we have to be emotional, cry, or break down, we do so amongst men we trust and men who are loyal to us. But unfortunately, after this experiment, after 18 months, Nora Vincent uh, fell into a state of deep depression and she ultimately committed suicide. The only thing that will hurt him if he cries in front of me. I lose respect if a person cries because I don't know how to react towards that. It's like you're crying. Oh. Aside from those rare occurrences, the point is that men should comport themselves with a certain level of stoicism and dignity, learning to control their emotions and projecting an image of strength of someone who is composed and in control. Men will do anything but cry. Men, when, when you cry, you must fight the tears. And if you fight the tears, the audience will cry for you. How many men suffer in silence? A woman will go out there and she will slap a man, right? And if the man goes and calls the police, is the police going to come and arrest him and take him? Is that going down as a statistic? And I'm not even defending a man, because as far as I'm concerned, no one deserves to get hit, but you've got to be fair about it. A woman will turn around, slap a man, and I'm talking, like I've seen it happen, I know of it happened. A woman will turn around, slap a man, call the police. If the man slaps her back and they will take the man. Absolutely. How many men out there are getting slapped by women and that will call the police and say, this woman slapped me? How many men are going out? Women are too, so quick to easy and turn around and say, oh, I've been abused. How is it for a man? If, um, if women, if that society would accept that men get abused, they will speak up more and then you'll see the statistics change. So as far as I'm concerned, all that talk about we should fear men and whatever, I've been battered by a man. I do not fear men because that is a rare occasion. That is a rare occasion. That is rare. So the guy drove four hours to go on a date with her and they went to eat at a restaurant but he went into the restaurant and ate alone and she sat in the car. I didn't want to go in. The verdict at the end of the night is that the guy is autistic. So they never went on a second date. Like what's, what's bad about that? Like it's socially awkward, fucking weird and just not into it. So you never talk to him again after no. that? Totally ghosted. <laughs> hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Harsh reality for us men. Women don't genuinely care about you up front. Answer this. When did she start respecting you? Was it at the beginning when y'all first met? The middle? Or when she seen you had yourself in order? If you have a top five priority list, make sure them first four slots is you. Those first four priorities should be your purpose, your finances your health, and your respect. Because at any given moment, that woman can switch up and put her feelings first. She had you playing a question game asking yourself where you went wrong. I can tell you, the first priority slots you had when you met her, you slacked up on her. Don't ever do that. Keep them priorities right there and she'll respect you more. Just make her one of those priorities, but not the priority. Go to some breakfast. You done with your attitude? You want to come back inside? All right. Check on you tonight. <laughs>